Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode for Agent Force for Everyone. In this episode, we are going to learn what is record summary prompt template. Let's understand this with the help of a very easy diagram. In our previous episodes, we have understand what is field generation and flex prompt template. Let's understand what is record summary prompt template. So record summary prompt template is bound to a single input variable. So whenever we are going to create a new template, we need to provide the name of the object on which we need to generate the summary. So it enhances the productivity and decision making by providing such clear and concise summaries, allowing user to quickly understand the critical information. So without wasting any single minute, let's jump to the org and create our record summary prompt template. So for that, I am going to the setup and search for the prompt builder. and click new prompt template and then here we have a couple of prompt template options so now we are working on record summary before i create this record summary prompt template let's jump back to the ppt and understand what are the things we are going to cover on this topic record summary prompt template so we are currently on episode number 22 where we are going to create our first record summary prompt template in the future episodes we are also going to see how to invoke apex and flows from record summary prompt template and we are also going to see how to invoke record summary prompt templates from apex flows and agent force agents so let's focus on creating the record summary prompt template now so i'm just going to give a name as account summary record summary prompt template rspt and then I'm going to select the name of the object where I need to generate the summary and then I click next. So here, if we look at the resource tab, we have only one input variable such as account. So then we can use the account values and we also have current user, current organization, data retrievers, flows and apex, which we are going to invoke in our future episodes. So let's give this LLM a effective prompt so that it can generate the good summary. So for that, I already have written the prompt so I can copy and paste in order to save some time. So let's understand this prompt. Uh, I have simply written, hey there, can you please generate a well written paragraph summary for this account? Make sure the summary is in natural language like a person can explain in a report or in an email. And please include the following such as the account details, name type, industry rating, annual revenue, etc. Information about the account owner and key dates like created, last modified, a quick rundown for related records, number of records, opportunities, cases, orders, and whatever the related list are. Mention any key highlights like high value deals, recent escalations, important interactions. You can also include custom field values and a quick note on the general health status on the account if applicable. Please return the output as clean, concise paragraph in a professional but friendly tone like you would present to it to a manager or a client. Thanks. Now, so these are all the static data we have we are giving to the LLM now. We also need to provide the values like such as the account values, all the standard and custom field values, uh, related list records such as the number of contacts, cases, opportunities, orders, etc. So now there are multiple ways to do. Uh, if you look at, let me zoom out. If you look at the resource from the account, we can fetch everything, right? All the account field values are available here. But what about the contacts, cases, opportunities, orders? So if you have seen the previous episodes, we have done getting all the cases, contacts and opportunities, invoking the apex and flows. And then from the field generation, we got, we invoke apex and flows and we retrieve all the data from the either apex or flows. So we are going to do the same thing here as well. But in record summary, Salesforce has provided a very special feature, which is record snapshot. So if I use this record snapshot, I don't need to call any apex or flow to get all the related data. So now let's understand what is record snapshot account and what data we are going to get from this feature. So for that, let me open an article. So if you look at this article, grounding prompts with record snapshot, after including this in your prompt, what you will get, you will get all the fields from the account from the object with their values. And then you will get all the related list as well. So for example, if the account has number of related lists, you will get the first six related lists from the page layout are used and up to five records per, are used per related list. So let's say you have contact cases, opportunities, orders, uh, some others, some, some custom objects mm -hmm. in total, you have 10 related lists on your account. But with the help of this feature, you will get six related list from the top. So now if you have a requirement to fetch more than six, this feature is not for you. You can invoke your apex or you can invoke your flow and then you can get all the 10 objects data 
to, to your prompt. But if you don't have more than six objects in your account related, then you can use this feature. Then you will also get tasks, the next five upcoming tasks that are used. You can also get events and you can also get emails. So for now, our purpose is not to call Apex or Flow in this episode because that we are going to do in our future episode, in our episode number 23, where we are invoking the Apex from this template to get the data. And in episode 24, we are invoking the Flow from the same template to get the data. So let's use the record snapshot for now. And I am going to save this template. This is successfully saved. And if I go to any account, let's say Express Logistics and Transport. So I can see there are a couple of related lists available such as contact, opportunities, cases, notes and attachment partners. So we don't have many, right? So we are going to use this and it has all the fields. So we are expecting all the fields data should be here. So now I'm going to copy the name and put it into the record name and let's preview. So this is the resolution, the final resolution with all the values. So these are all the static data which we have provided to the LLM. And then uh, in the record snapshot, it has merged the values. So it it's basically gives the JSON to the LLM. So this is the JSON for the account. These are all the page layout fields. So whatever the fields you are looking at the page layout, it's all included there. And then after the page layout fields, let's look at this JSON carefully. It has all account specific info and then here, here are the related records such as context because the first one is the contact which has four records so it, it gives up to five records per related list then 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 this is still contact then we have opportunities next we have opportunities so it gives us opportunities it also it can also give five records for opportunity but we have only three next we have cases next 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 we don't have anything and then like i said after the related list it can give you task events and emails so uh task means activities there are ta there are no task no events and no emails so this all data is going to the llm and then it generates a summary so if you look at the summary it says the account for this categorized as ch customer channel which is a type in the transportation industry is owned by so this is the account owner because we have specifically mentioned information about the account owner and the key details when it when it's created or updated so it's owned by this and has an annual revenue of this so this is now uh, the account is rated as warm this is the ratings uh, not rating this is actually yeah it's 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 a rating actually i, I think uh, with a medium customer priority key details include a billing and shipping address this is this and the account has four contacts which is fine and this 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 and it has where are the opportunities yes it has three closed one opportunities where are the cases? The account several agreement overall the account appears to be in good re reflecting a positive trajectory with significant opportunities. Fine. So this is how it generates the summary. Now we don't need to provide any merge fields because the record snapshot account is good enough uh, in order to generate the summary which is specific to the account object. Now when this feature is not helpful, when you have to when you have to you know load some custom data as well so for example you want to generate some summary on account but you also need to provide some other details like you want to suggest some products right and for example if there is no connection with account and product then how you, how you will get the product details so then you have to invoke either apex or flows generate or design all the data related to the custom object or related to whatever the object you would like to pitch on this summary and then you can pass the data here so that we are going to see in our future episode but for now uh this is all we have in this episode we have created our record summary prompt template where we have given a effective prompt to the llm and then the llm has generated the summary very nicely so if you have any questions reach out to me on linkedin and thanks for watching and take care